Welcome to this introduction to the Calvarian Automation Portal. The Calvarian Automation Portal is a lightweight front end for all of your automation needs. It can be deployed either on premise or to Azure as a web app. It's very flexible and easy to customize. It's fully supported and it offers direct integration into Orchestrator or Azure Automation via Calvarian's existing integration packs and modules. I'm going to take a quick look at the Automation Portal in action. First of all, from an end user perspective, so we can see four services are available. I'm going to go into one of those services and we can see that there are a couple of prompts here for information which is required to allow automation to do some work. This particular offering is quite dynamic. It understands the user that's logged in and gives them appropriate choices for their department. Okay, I've submitted my request and we can see now that that request is in a pending state. It's waiting for approval. And we're going to switch to the admin mode in a moment and we're going to reject that request. First of all, you, can, you will notice that we see a different list of services and offerings now. And that's because it's driven by Active Directory Group membership. Within this particular offering, there is a, a, a number of different capabilities and those have been broken out into folders to make it easier to navigate the requests. Okay, so there is our original request as an admin. You can see we can delete, approve, reject, or close a, re a request. And I'm going to reject that one. We're now going to move on and take a quick look at the admin experience. So I mentioned that it's very easy to customize the portal. What we're going to do, we will add a brand new service, a demo service into the portal. Once that service has been created, and you can see how straightforward that is, we're going to add a new offering into that service and an offering is an automation capability so it will have some run books hanging off the back of it. Um, a little bit more information is required to, to create an offering so we need to say what group is this going to be published to, who is going to be able to access this offering. But after that you can see the offering has been created and we're now going to add some documentation to that offering to explain to the user what this is about, what it is that they need to provide. It helps them go through the process of placing a request and all of these little helps make sure that automation gets exactly the right information to deliver service to the end users. So we've added some documentation. I'm now going to add some fields and the fields are those choices that the end user can make. So we have lots of different field types. You can see text box and text area, radio buttons and check boxes. The first thing I'm going to add is a text area. That's the first field added. So my second field that I'm going to add is going to be a list. So that's a choice from a static list of choices. So it's a reusable component and we tend to use lists through lots of different um, offerings as we create them. So I'm just gonna set that up. So we've selected our list values that are available to the end user. And finally, I'm going to add in a database query field. So database query fields are incredibly dynamic. Um, again, it's a reusable component and the automation portal will provide information to the end user to allow them to make a choice based on the content of a database. And typically your automation engine will keep that database up to date so the end user is always able to make the right choices. You can see, the service, the offering is now complete. I'm going to visit that so we can see those fields in action. So we can see our first mandatory field is the text area. Our second field is a drop down list. And our third field is those choices from the database. So I've gone all the way through from creating a new service, a new offering through into the end user experience and I've submitted a brand new request for this service. Automation is now ready to deliver. Thank you very much for watching this introduction to the Calvarian Automation Portal. If you've got any questions about this or any of our other products, please visit www.calvarian.com.